All right, next we're going to show you how to create a trench and a trench surface for this utility run. Now again, we're just going to show you how to do this initially and we'll go back and actually show you how to create the trench template and get into some more advanced functionality. To start with, below this video there is a original ground surface.zip file. In that zip file is a VCL uh, called uh, original ground surface VCL. Go ahead and unzip that and then just drag and drop in that VCL into your current project. This should just generate a line and I created a line around here just to give us a, we're going to call it the original ground surface but more than likely depending on how you're doing your construction this could be your subgrade. right? So if you've gone through and you've done all your subgrade um, you've got a surface now and you're going to come in and you're going to you know, trench in for this utility run. So. Uh, just for instructional purposes, I just created this line and I'm going to right click and we're going to add it to our surface. We're going to add it to the original ground surface. All right, so it will create a surface for us that we can work with. You can toggle it off. You don't need to see it. So we'll just toggle, right click and toggle visibility to turn it off. Um, the other thing I did was just kind of clear it up to make this a little easier to see was I left the PDF on and I turned off basically all the layers, the PDF layers. So kind of makes it a little bit easier on the eyes to see what we're doing here. So the cyan line you can see is our utility run. It's in 3D, we did that in the last video. And now we're gonna uh, create a trench. So in the trench manager, we'll take a look at that first. There's one here called sanitary sewer PVC bedding. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a trench. It's gonna be a half a foot lower than our pipe we're displaying it with this eight inch pipe. Okay, It's gonna be um, uh, basically 2.0 feet wide. So it's using diameter multipliers is what's happening. So measurements, uh, location inside, diameter multiplier to the right is one, to the left is one. All right, so if I was to come in here and make this two, um, you can see that it's you know 2.7 to the left and one to the right, right? So if I set this back to one, you'll see that it's uh, two on either side. So if I was to make this 21, you can see that it's actually multiplying it um, to either side, okay? So it the size of the pipe will adjust the size of the trench, basically, okay? So let's put this back to uh, eight inch here. Um, you can do a minimum width, you can do a bottom offset, that's that right there. And then like I said, the preview height here is just a preview to show you that, hey, we're gonna create a trench. Um, and then you adjust it nodes. Basically, this is saying that uh, around the node, around the structure, to offset my trench an additional, or three feet. Um, you can also do the bottom as well if you wanted to. Uh, backfill, we've got basically earth backfill where it's gonna come in backfill in six inch lifts. So it's gonna backfill that based on uh, what the depth of our structure or pipe is. Um, and then the granular backfill, which is here, is actually going to, you know, fill it in with a material. So it's uh, basically it's relative height. It's from the top of the utility line. And from the top of the utility line, it's going to come up a, a half a foot. Now, the reason you don't see any colors or shading is because we didn't apply material. So in the material here, we're going to go ahead and set it to gravel bedding number 67 all right so we're applying that material um, so when you can see now it's going to be cyan okay for the side slopes basically what we're saying here is we're going to set up these uh, conditionals so you have a left side and a right side on the left side we have a vertical wall that is going to have a start depth of four feet and when the depth is less that's when the depth is less than 100 feet it's going to put that in there so it's you know can always put that in there. And it says from surface, utility run surface, which is, you know, the bedding and any additional information, right? So we've got a four foot uh, preview height, really. That's four foot, just a preview height. Um, and then it's gonna have a vertical offset of four feet. So basically, this is the condition. When this is met, it's gonna draw in a horizontal vertical offset. You can do a side slope or a horizontal offset with slope. Okay, so we're doing a horizontal vertical offset, the offset zero, so it's gonna come straight up. And it's gonna be a delta of four feet. So it's gonna come up four feet and not left or right. All right, so that's a vertical wall. And then you've got a conditional for the side slope. 
which is doing the same thing as a side slope cutback is conditional and when this condition is met it's going to basically do a side slope and project out to the original ground surface in this case and we're not going to do anything for the depth zones just yet we'll come back and cover that later on in another chapter but that's basically how it's set up and then it's the same thing you just go to the right and you have it set up on the right being the same way you can see there's a mirror option here once you do one side you can mirror it to the other all right so that's what you're seeing here so i'm going to close this and once you have that trench manager set up it's pretty much just inserting the trench so it's going to ask you what run and what station you want to start it at and then what the trench template you want to use. And you also want to come down here and click on adjust nodes if you want it to adjust. You can always turn that off later in the properties of the uh, trench. So I'm going to click apply and that's going to create and generate the line work for the trench. You can see that it's coming out, it's giving me my four foot depth and then projecting out to that original design surface. Okay. Then the next step would be just to click on create the trench. I got one run, I click OK, and now I've got a trench surface. So there you go. All right, so you can take a look, you can look at the properties, you can see that it's offset around the nodes, and it's projecting out to our original ground surface. So those are, that's the steps in the process for creating a trench. Next, we'll take a look at doing the utility report. And later on in the other chapters, we'll dive a little deeper into doing some more complex stuff. But this hopefully will get you started with creating a utility run. Same thing process would apply for any other gravity-based systems like a drainage. Um, what you would do if you had a side you know, run, like if you had another utility run coming in, you would basically generate another run. And it's part of the same. As long as it that pipe ties into you know this structure, then this becomes it's another run within that network. Okay. Again, we'll get more complex as we go through uh, the other chapters.